class is divided into two parts. One is getting a nonlinear optimization up and running, and then using that to do a simulation of a project type. Okay, so when you talk about nonlinear optimization, we typically are talking about a cost and some constraints. So imagine we want to minimize some cost given by f of x, where x are decision variables. Uh, x is bounded, it has a lower bound, upper bound. And then we have a bunch of constraints. These can be quality constraints or inequality constraints. So what we'll do is um, there are solvers out there which do nonlinear optimization. We'll just use one of those solvers, which uh, which is going to be bulk of the today's class. So the one which I'm going to use is called NLOPT. It's a nonlinear optimization software. Unfortunately, I've not got it working on uh, the MSVC, which is a Visual Studio option. So this has to be uh, done using Linux or uh, Mac. Uh, if you are using a Windows machine, you will have to go to um, Ubuntu via uh, VirtualBox to do this, or if somebody can figure out how to use this uh, optimization with uh, Windows, that will be great. Okay, so what you need to do is go to the web and search for NLF, NLOPT plus download. Okay, I'll do that. And then locked plus download. And then you should see the first link which shows up is the one which you want to go. So download this version v2.7.1.tar.gz and uh, put it, uh, once it downloads, unzip it and put it anywhere you want, like documents. So, for example, I have put it in my document, older version of this, it's 2.6.2. So just uh, doesn't matter. Uh, it's the same. It's pretty much the same, I think. Uh, open the folder, and then you should see all these files except for one folder here called build, which will not exist when you download that. Okay, so once you've done that, uh, navigate to that folder. So in this case, it will be for me. It's two point six point two, and then. To, to navigate in this in terminal and then type mkdir build cd build cmake dot make and sudo make install you need the password the root password for this so once you do this you will have nlopt installed be it mac or ubuntu the steps are the same yeah you need to go to the build and do cmake it might be cmake dot dot yeah that's right right yeah, so it's an error here. So CMake dot dot. So people who have got it installed, what you what I want you to do is uh, go to tiny.cc forward slash mujoko, download the template underscore nloct, then navigate to that folder template underscore nloct and type these two lines in terminal gcc tutorial dot c uh, hyphen o tutorial hyphen w hyphen ln elopt hyphen lm so that will compile the c file and create a executable called tutorial and then when you type dot forward slash tutorial uh, you will run it and if it runs fi fine then you should see that it prints this line found minimum at f equals some to values equals some other value so if you got to step six then you have got uh, NLOPT working fine. Uh, I'll, I'll do a generic, a, a different problem. So here the goal is to minimize a, a cost function which looks like this, a1 x1 square plus a2 x2 square plus so on, uh, subject to a bunch of constraints. So for the first three are bounds on the variables x1 through five. The next two are equality constraints. And then the last one is an inequality constraint. Okay, now here, I could have put a1 equals one and I written it this way, but I chose to be, make it a parameter. So AI is a parameter and you can change it to whatever you want, two, three, four. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to show you how to pass parameters within this optimization environment provided by NLOPT. Okay, so these are the parameters. So if, uh, if, if you uh, want to 
program this. I have, you can do it, but I have programmed this for you. If you look at the same folder, there is a file called constraint.c. So then go to the same folder, template analog, and then type gcc constraint.c hyphen o constraint hyphen w hyphen ln lock hyphen lm and then dot forward slash constraint. And if everything worked fine and you should see it producing an output, it basically gives you the values at which the five values for X where this function is optimized and gives the cost. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at constraint.c closely. I'll just show you what it looks like. And then once we have this, we can move on to more complicated things. There is an API provided by uh, NLOP. You can just search for NLOP reference or you can use this link. Okay, so I'll show you uh, the, I have, I have basically, I have a bookmark this, that's the reference. Okay, so this is always handy, just bookmark it. Okay, I'm gonna open, well, I'm gonna run that file first. So let's go to uh, here and then GCC uh, constrained, C hyphen O constraint and W hyphen LN. Okay, compile and then constraint. And then everything work like you should see this. So let me open constraint.c. Okay, here is constraint.c. Okay, so I've put the optimization problem here for you to refer. Okay, but the way this goes is there is a main loop. Okay, this is where the optimization problem is defined. Uh, I have in this case, okay, let me pull this to the side. So in this optimization problem on the right side, there you can see there are five decision variables, x1 through five. So here I've set that to five. There's two equality constraints. These are these two. That's m equals two, m inequality is one. Uh, we need to give bounds, L upper bound, lower bound here. So you can see, for example, x3 has a, x1, x2, and x4 have no bounds, but x3 has a bound of lower bound of 0.3 and then infinity. So that you can see, uh, huh, I do a mistake here. Yeah, this should be, uh, this doesn't look right to me. Why did I change this? Or maybe I got the, I wrote the problem wrong, let's see. So originally it was X1, is, oh, sorry, my bad. So I wrote these equations incorrectly. So there is an error in my equations. X1 should be 0.3 and greater and then x3 is less than five. So I need to correct that here in this. So there's an error here. X, this is not x3, it should be x1 and x5 should be x3. Okay, x1 and, okay, so this is this is not, uh, this is incorrect in code. So x1 has a lower bound of 0.3 and that one has a infinity as a, a upper bound. And then x3 is the other one which is constrained. It has five is upper bound and lower bound is minus infinity. So there's a error in my side show, but this is corrected. So then I need to create the optimization problem. And this is a structure which saves the problem. Uh, this is basically giving an option as to what optimization I want to use. And these are options in the API. So L here indicates a local optimization and indicates if it's, there's a derivative not. So I don't have a derivative and this is an algorithm which is used and you can export the other algorithm. So I just need to specify the decision variables. I set the lower and upper bounds. Okay, now here's the, place where I start adding these costs, equality, inequality. I've already passed the bounds. So this is taken care of. It's just the cost and the constraints which need to be satisfied, uh, specified. So this is setting the cost in saved in a function called my cost. I have the equality constraint, which is saved in uh, 
in this function called my equality constraint and same for my inequality. So these are setting the objective, setting the constraint, setting the inequality constraint. Now, what you see above this are parameters which I need to pass. So for example, here AI goes I AI is equal to one five from one to five, and that is passed here at n equals five. So the five is which are all set to one. And I'll show you how this is set in just a bit. And these are the the parameters for the equality inequality. So this is something which you may or may not require. Sometimes you want to pass parameters, sometimes you don't. Everything we'll be learning will not have parameters, but I can see a need for that. So I included this code so that you can, if you need, you can use it. So once you do that, and I'll get to that in a bit, you just set the tolerance. That this is the check which you do on convergence. It basically checks for the tolerance value for X. That is the decision variables. If it is changes less than one in negative four, it will terminate the initial guess. And then the main call to the solver is this. You say NL opt optimize. It will basically optimize for X given all this cost and the equality and inequality constraints. Uh, I believe this is by default set to minimize. If you want to maximize, uh, you there should be, there might be an option you, you need to set, or you can just convert min f to minus min f, well, the cost will be minus of whatever it is, or one divided by whatever cost it is, depending on there's some conditions you need to check, it will become a maximization problem. Okay, so let's get to these three things, the actual constraints, how do you actually specify the cost? So I've specified all the functions right in the beginning. Uh, here we have the cost. And the cost is summation of a i x i square. And how do I get a i? I've defined a struct which holds on um, the various parameters. There are five in this case, plus five decision variables. These five variables are then uh, populated using this. Uh, variable data i which is by the way set in the main function so if you look at the main function i've specified this as one in the main function and then i've basically assigned it to ai within my cost so that's i did, that's how i did for ai then i could do the same thing for uh, the equality constraint and then in this case it's a bound so the result zero and result one should be equal to zero so that so this C1 is five and C2 is two. So this whole thing equals zero. That's how the equality goes. And then inequality is similar. Just want to ensure that this value on the left side for result zero is less than zero. So what we'll do is we'll essentially copy this template in our problems and just modify it. We don't have to think about coding because this, this template has been made very generic enough that you can tailor it to suit your own purpose. Once you understand what elements are where, it's fairly easy to change.